Cool, cool. Hey everybody, it's Blind Run with Blind Run Gaming, and I was going to do a quick tutorial for you here on how to get your Xbox One controller to work with your PC. Um, the reason it's named to work with uh, Steam Big Picture is because currently the only thing I can guarantee that it'll work with is Steam Big Picture mode. Um, there, I'm doing some more tests on other games and so on and so forth, trying to figure out what else this will work with. I can tell you that it does not work with Call of Duty Ghosts, and it does not work with Titanfall currently. Um, Xbox uh, and Microsoft have announced that they are going to be releasing drivers for the Xbox One for PC, but who knows when that will be. So stay tuned for these workarounds and these uh, hacked drivers, and hopefully uh, here soon someone will come up with one that will work a little more fluid than what we have currently. Um, Please do this at your own risk, and uh, we'll get into it. Uh, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a micro USB cable. Here's one looks like this. One end looks like this, and the other end looks like a typical USB. And you can get that in the play and charge kit. Looks like that. Or you can get that in the headset adapter kit that just released recently and finally if you don't have any of those if you have an Android smartphone such as the HTC one dun -dun -dun, you should have one already alrighty so those are the three ways to obtain the cable that you're gonna need and the first step is going to be taking the micro USB and plugging it into your Xbox one controller and then taking the USB part and plugging it into your computer. Once you do that, if you are on Windows 8, and actually this might be the wrong controller, I think I was going to do it with a new one to help you out, or so it would work better. But you'll right click on the little Windows icon and then left click on Device Manager. And it will pop up under here as controller, and actually I'm going to plug in a different controller that I haven't done this with yet, so you guys can get a better idea of how it's going to look. Um, there we go. Okay, so I haven't pro put this controller in yet. That was a test controller that I used. So you see right here that it's going to pop up as controller. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to right click and you're going to update driver. Um, drivers and you're going to browse com or sorry yes that's what you're going to do update you're going to click browse and you're going to click let me pick from a list of device drivers and you're going to scroll down to universal serial bus device and let me double check I believe that is the one I have some notes over here that I'll put in the bottom in the comment section like I said, uh, the only reason I'm doing this is because I had a couple people asking me uh, after the podcast last night. So I just wanted to go ahead and get that up for you guys. Um, yeah, so you'll pick Universal Serial Bus Devices. You'll click Next. You will click Win USB Device. Next. It's going to give you a little warning. You're going to say Yes. It's going to install it. And you'll click close. Once the new drivers come out, you're probably going to need to go ahead and uninstall that and reinstall. After you do that, you're going to need to go, you'll close out a device manager, and you're going to go to this uh, OneDrive link that I'll also post in the comment section below. And you will save that file. And I already have it, so I'm just going to stop it. I'm going to show all downloads. Actually, I want to open containing folder here if I can do that. Ah, screw it. I'll just go through this direction here. Let me drag this over. So you go to your Windows Explorer uh, downloads and I'm gonna just go ahead and delete all of let's see. Yeah, we're gonna leave those two these I do not want in here. Okay. So you'll get a file. Which one's newer in here? I shouldn't have done that because now I'm all confused. Is this the older one? 
This is the one I fully downloaded. Yeah, so delete that. So you have a RAR file here. You're going to right click and you're going to extract. I'm just going to extract here because it's going to be the easiest way to show you guys what's going on. Once this is extracted, you'll get these files right here. You'll get uh, libusb.net, you'll get uh, vjoy, app, and x360ce. The first thing you're going to want to do is run the vjoy after you've uh, followed the previous step and you're going to click next. Uh, you do not need to install the demo. I don't because I don't want any extra bloatware on my system. And you're going to click install. Okay, once it's installed successfully, one thing you can do is just click search over here in Windows 8 and you'll just say VJoy. And you're going to click configure VJoy. These settings are important. You're going to want to make sure you have your additional access um, clicked and you're going to want to click continuous and one uh, continuous under POV hat switch and then continuous uh, uh, and then one POV everything else here you can change the number of buttons I believe you want 10 if I recall correctly 13 I'm sorry 13 so you're going to want 13 there you click apply and you want that to be on target device one you have to do this separately for each controller that you do this for but uh, that's how it's gonna go once you click apply you can just click OK and then you're gonna want to run this is where the cool stuff comes in well let's see not quite yet we gotta install the lib uh, USB.net and accept. Once again one of the things in here you do not need to load um, is the source and example code. However you will need to install this uh, USB Win32 fil with filter capabilities. <coughs> and that'll go through its process and you will uh, finish and um, you're going to want to install it so you install a device filter. Click Next and you're going to want to install Win USB device right here. And you're just looking under description. There should be only one per controller you have currently connected. It'll say successfully installed. You'll click OK. Close out. Now we get to the fun part. You're going to want to run uh, this app, and I'll give credit to uh, the developer in the link below and uh, to his um, walkthrough as well. This will show that you have uh, one Xbox gamepad. If you have more lock lit up, it will work. Um, you can add additional, I believe, up to 16. Yeah, 16. You're going to want to enable trigger button, and you're going to continually run this. Now, if you want it to recognize like it would for uh, Xbox 360 controller in game you're going to want to also run this X360 CE application here. Um, all of these files are in the RAR file that I'll have posted below. Um, when you run this it's going to pop up. It's going to ask you to install a DLL file. I've already installed it so now I just go straight to here. Um, it'll automatically find it so you can just leave search automatically and you click finish and then you will see if I move Xbox One controller, my analogs, you see that it's picking them all up. Picks up A, B, Y, X. Right trigger, left trigger, right bumper, left trigger. Start, select. The middle button uh, doesn't work. So that's kind of a bummer at this point. And these are the settings that you're going to want to have set up. And it'll just say up here that it's successfully loaded. If you want, if you're not sure, one of the basic ones that you can go ahead and click into that makes it easier is the uh, controller uh, Xbox 360 wireless receiver, and you can load that preset, and it should uh, be pretty close. Uh, you do not want to run this. This will load in after it's loaded in. Uh, you just go go ahead and click save, and exit out of that application. Um, that's one thing that you need to make sure you do. So now I'll show you guys, just in case you don't believe me, that this will work in Steam Big Picture mode. Ouch. 
I say that, and then I can't open Steam because. All right, here we go. Steam, big picture mode. And you'll see I am able to switch through everything effectively and select things and all that fun stuff. Now, if the settings are not where you want them to be, you can go to settings and controller, edit controls, and it'll do this little walkthrough. No. And I kind of messed mine up, but okay, so no. Um, when you're editing these, actually, it's best to click on the cell like that uh, with your mouse and keyboard. And you can walk through all these and uh, set them all up to how they correspond on your controller. This one, like I said, doesn't have a configuration, so you can't use that one. Nope, I accidentally <laughs> moved it. Those get a little tricky, you gotta be careful. Uh, left shoulder. Right shoulder. No, right shoulder, I clicked the wrong one again. You gotta make sure that you pay attention because sometimes it won't work too well if you uh, accidentally mess up the axes and stuff, which I did on my last test, so that's why I figured I'd walk you through this. See, this one gets a little tricky, like I'll do it, and then it'll get funky. Ah, uh, come on. There it goes. There it goes. And that's basically how you do it. So like I said, and you want to save these, just, I always just do X-Bone, whatever. You can upload it. Click done. Done. And, uh, yeah, so that's how you do it. That's how you set up your Xbox One controller to work in Steam Big Picture mode. Experiment with games and figure out which ones work. Uh, whichever ones you do figure out work, please post in the comments below so we can make a comprehensive list and I'll throw that up on the blindrungaming.com website in a blog post uh, so people know which ones work. And if I get any more updates and figure anything else out for you guys, I will let you know ASAP. So cool, 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 cool. I'm going to get ready and play some video games. Thanks for watching, guys. And I want to give a shout out to... Um, WPCentral.com um, for putting the text intro on how to hook it up online and I will post that link in the credits below. Um, we will see you guys soon with some gameplay. I'm thinking I need to finish Thief.